Hey, Scruffy. Some medium meows there. Okay, that's a little stronger. <clears throat> so I have Super Supper tonight and Kibble. Okay, so yeah, we're early again. So I think yeah, we're over a half hour early. But I'm actually not going out tonight. It's hot. <clears throat> so I think according to the forecast, this is going to be a local max. <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to stay in today. Not that it's going to be much cooler the following days, but every little bit helps, I think. Whoops. Scruffy backed off there for a moment. I probably should have closed the door. <clears throat> I only closed the screen door. <clears throat> so I went for my run last night after I fed Scruffy. There was a It was a um, interval run, so it was uh, intended as a shorter run. I did it because I knew today would be hotter. I <clears throat> only got three hours of sleep yesterday, so I wasn't sure how well the run would go. All things considered, I think yeah, it was a pretty typical run. Not great, not bad. But all things considered, with the lack of sleep, it's probably a decent run. So, uh, so, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm taking today off. I did some pull-ups uh, earlier today, but that's all I'm gonna do. It's hot. I don't feel like doing anything. Because I was worried about sleeping again last night. I was really tired, but I was tired the night before, so I decided to take half a sleeping pill. And I went to sleep early since I didn't really get any sleep the day before. And I actually slept okay, but yeah, I actually overslept today. So I guess I was making up for the lack of sleep from the day before. <clears throat> And then I always feel a little groggy after I take one of those sleeping pills, so yeah, it's kind of groggy most of the day. But I'm hoping uh, I can get a decent amount of sleep tonight and try to get back on a normal sleep cycle. Guess we'll see. Not sure if the heat's going to be an issue. Oops, Scruffy backed up there. At least he's not scratching. Yeah, I didn't see anything on my run. See, I saw the porch cat on the way to the park. And yeah, I think that was about it. Didn't see any other cats. So 
что ты для меня. <clears throat> so, Big Scrub is kind of into the pets today. It's a little different though, yeah, he's, I think, going more for the cheeks today. See, I saw a news report uh, on um, pet abandonment or pet surrender. <clears throat> so uh, basically, because of uh, probably inflation, you know, bad economy, blah blah. <clears throat> Um, the, you know, bad real economy, not the, the everything's great economy. Um, yeah, a lot of people are being forced to, yeah, stuff is going for a drink of water. Or not. That was weird. Let's script you do that. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, the, according to this news report, people are struggling and they basically are having to give up their pets in a bunch of cases. So I think the number one reason is uh, people can't afford their housing or rent. And so they're being forced to move somewhere else and the new place doesn't accept pets. And so they have to abandon the pet and uh, I think this report talked to three different shelters and I think three different states. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if it's a um, good uh, survey, though. I think uh, one was, I think, New York. And, um, and then I think another one was, I think, somewhere in the Midwest. So... At least, yeah, it's not all giant cities, I think. <clears throat> and I think uh, one of them was saying, let's see, the abandonments were up, I think. One of them said it was like up, to, up a factor of three since last year. Another one, I think, said it was up 22% from last year. And then there's a third one, and I forgot, but it was also up a lot. And so, yeah, a lot of people are struggling and uh, shelters are struggling to keep up with the uh, inflow of uh, abandoned pets <clears throat> and uh, I guess uh, they're also reporting a lot of these shelters are trying to offer foster temporary services uh, you know find volunteers to foster a pet hoping that maybe the owner can uh, reclaim the pet at some point after they're not in so much financial distress But, uh, yeah, not good. And I was also reading another thing in the news. Let's see. This came out a little while ago. It was um, the Americans basically set a new, new record in uh, debt. So I think... Um, it's like over sixteen trillion dollars in debt. The average household, is, or this is household debt. So it's a combination, I think, of uh, 
mortgages, car loans, credit card debt, student loans, um, forgot what else counts, but yeah, those are your big ones. So student loans obviously haven't changed because, um, you yeah, know, they were still on the forbearance program, I think. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, car loans were up, um, and credit cards were up a uh, ton. Oops, just noticed the camera zoomed in for some reason. Not sure how that happened. But yeah, so things may have been uh, not focused correctly on Scruffy. I really don't like this camera. This is an awful, awful piece of. Uh, software. Okay, I'm going to get you your food now. I think his fur is too bad today. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. I saw Scruffy yeah, only this afternoon when I brought out the water. Didn't see him this morning. So I didn't see him out here immediately, so I was looking around, and then I finally saw him under uh, under the table next to the barbecue. And so once again, yeah, he didn't seem to be horribly motivated to come for the water. But he did actually come for the water, so after I went in, I... <clears throat> sat at the door for... A minute or two. I could see him at a sharp angle near the barbecue. I didn't bother recording it because I think the it would have gotten a reflection. I probably wouldn't be able to. Yeah, the video capture probably wouldn't get much. <clears throat> but I saw he was just sitting there. It was hot this afternoon, so kind of figured you know he'd want the water, but he didn't. The last few days have been hot, so. Well, yesterday definitely was hot. The day before, I think, it was a little cooler, so when he didn't come, I was thinking, well, maybe it's because of the poor weather. But anyway, after a minute or two, you finally start walking over, so I turned on the camera and caught him coming to the bowl. He was checking me out, though, at first. It's still suspicious of me, even when I'm on the, on the inside. <clears throat> so, let's see, right, back to the news reports. Yeah, so credit card debt was up. Yeah, I think car loans were up. I think mortgages, uh, I think they were slightly up, but yeah, there's like this tug of war going on between, uh, you know, the housing slowdown but, and uh, concerns about raising interest rate, rising interest rates and recession. Uh, but I think, I think it was still up even now, which is probably not a good sign. But yeah, the credit card thing is definitely not a good sign because it, from what I can gather, it's basically people maxing out their credit cards trying to stay afloat right now. Um, and so they're not, they're not buying more stuff, they're just trying to pay for food and essentials. And because the prices have gone up, you know, they're trying to make up the difference using their credit lines. So that's not good. But yeah, the Fed has reading their spin on it, and there's they actually let they actually did publish a paper on uh, basically their warning that the 
uh, defaults and delinquencies may be on the rise. So that's actually not good. Um, that means that you know people are going to definitely be under more stress. But they're trying to spin it um, another way, saying, "Oh, on the bright side, uh, the most of the people." Um, you know, increasing their debt, the majority of them have really good credit scores. Great. Still trying to use words about you know robust, uh, robust health and other other things. Trying to make it you know spin it as if you know there's nothing wrong, everything's fine. Basically, uh, like that meme of the dogs sitting in a room that's on fire. And basically says this is fine. So I'm sure the Fed didn't read the or see that report on the pet abandonment. I wonder if that would actually make a good uh, economic indicator. Because yeah, they've been trying to spin uh, increased spending as a plus for the economy, but in fact, you know, basically what we're seeing is you know, the increased spending is basically we're not getting any more goods; we're just paying more for the same goods that we bought before. So that that's not really a win, but they're spending it that way. And then obviously, yeah, on top of that, you know, we're not even able to pay for it. Uh, doing it on credit cards. Yeah, so I guess that's also not good for Scruffy, because if I want to go through my eventual possible plan of uh, finding some shelter could rehome him, yeah, this is probably not a good time. Because he has uh, probably a whole bunch of uh, Domestically uh, domesticated uh, pets to compete with. Feral cat, uh, especially even a semi feral cat, it's probably a hard sell. Bump the window. <clears throat> 